Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and tonight I will show you what I believe it is the best Oreo custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. I'm talking about the Renovate Oreo custom ROM. In this video I will not only show you the ROM and how it feels and behaves but also what I reckon to be the best new features of Oreo beta program for Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Big shout out for Renovate team for making this ROM, as always, you'll have to know that currently on this 0.3 version rice tweaks are not functional, but I'm 100% sure in the upcoming releases the dev will implement them inside Oreo. Anyways, if you want to know what to expect, I have a full overview of the rice tweaks app in the card section showing every section of it in detail, we'll get into that later on. But for now, without further ado, let's dive into the installation process. You will need TWRP in order to install this ROM. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it, check the video in the card section. Make a backup of your current configuration, even though I am absolutely sure you will fall in love with Oreo and never come back to Nougat. It's always a good idea to have a backup of all your data. Then go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. Compared to my latest upload, this ROM won't wipe your internal storage. Then, as always, go to install and select the ROM. You will see now that the Aroma Installer is back with all the renovated good stuff implemented. Only Super SU root is available for now. And the rest is kinda intact as we got used to the latest releases of renovate ROMs. Loads of the bloating and CSE options available here, you can choose whatever you want. After the installation process got finished, you'll have to reboot your device, but take in mind your device may reboot a couple of times before booting up. Now. As you can see, things start to look different from the first sight, the setup menu. Everything looks more minimalist, especially with the welcome screen pop-up at the end. These little retouches make the difference for me and I'm sure I'm not the only one who believes that. You know I'm in love with dark black themes and I couldn't resist not installing one on this beautiful Oreo ROM. If you want to know how to install it, check the link in the description. Ok, so Android. 8.0.0 Oreo and Samsung Experience version 9.0. What can I say after I played with it for more than one hour and a half? Well, I have to admit it is blazing fast, way faster than 7.0, much more fluid. Animations are way smoother and I believe they got changed a little bit. But the overall look and feel of this Oreo beta build is incredible. It just feels like it is situated right where it should be. Let me show you what I believe to be the best new features of Android Oreo on my device. The first difference compared to the Nougat version is underlined by the little notification icons while you drag down the notification bar. As I said, little changes that make a big difference. Into settings, display and edge settings, I did found the most amazing new feature. The new edge lighting effect you can set when you receive a notification and I must admit the amount of customization is really insane. You can and set the effect, the color of the transparency and also the width for the edge lining which is really cool. Another feature I haven't really noticed before was the pressure level representation. It's really helpful for everyone to set at their desired home button sensitivity. Another great feature, along with the edge lining there's also a new way of displaying the edge screen. The screens are placed on a really nice new and minimalist design. A new great option implemented in this beta is the ability to change between different clock styles, whether if we're talking about the always on display or the lock screen. There are lots of new types of clocks. It is even nicer that they are even colorable so you can personalize the phone as you want. Let's move on to another interesting feature. Did you know you could press some specific icons and the launcher will give you some quick specific shortcuts for it? Telegram is one of them and also most of the Samsung apps. With this theme, everything looks so clean and fresh starting with the navigation bar going through all the themed apps. Now I talked about the aesthetic stuff too much I believe. Regarding the performance, as I mentioned earlier, this ROM is a beast. The RAM management seems to hold on better, uploading time is significantly lower, just check it out how fast and smooth it switches the first app with the second one running in the background. The camera is looking similarly to the Note 8 one with uh, lots of new settings waiting to be tested. Maybe the biggest advantage this ROM will have over the competition is that even though on this version of the ROM it doesn't work. In the future, Rice Twix app is the best customization tool for this ROM. Since FPS counter doesn't work on Oreo Beat, I couldn't show you some numbers regarding the gaming performance, but I have to be honest with y'all. The game seems to be a little slower than a Nougat. Maybe they're not so optimized. They have some frame drops from here to here. 
not such a big deal and of course I know a lot of you are interested into the numbers and that's uh, why I got into Geekbench and I started a CPU test and at the end these are the numbers I got. In the previous video I said that Oreo Beta eats more battery life than Nougat. I started a video at 65% and after more than 90 minutes I'm at 30% and that means almost 0.4% per minute in a really heavy usage. I reckon this value is pretty legit taking in mind that this is still a beta. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering which Oreo ROM to install on your device, go with this one because it is smooth, fast and it's gonna get lots of customization updates from now on. Anyways, this was the overview and installation tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all my uploads. I'm Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. If you like my video, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.